Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take this very basic um, scatter plot graph that I made and make it look a little bit more like um, what you would see in a research publication in um, a field like physiology, which is my field. Um, so this is just, a, a again, a basic Excel graph, um, but typically researchers will use specialized software to do their graphs and it makes a very different looking graph. Um, and so when you see this, it uh, just lacks a little bit of that sort of polished finish that those other um, programs would do um, by default or, or with minimal effort. So it takes a little bit more to get this uh, Excel version to that, but I'll show you how to get as close as I think you can with Excel. All right, so first of all, with this basic graph here, um, in any sort of, um, research publication you're not going you're not going to usually see a, a title on a graph because it's going to have a description below it that's going to talk about what the graph is and it's also going to have a results section that tells you all about the graph uh, or all about the data and refer to the graph as well so first thing let's just delete this and that provides a, a larger space for the data itself which is what the most important thing in a graph is so um, you always want to give as much space to that as you can. Uh, another thing that you're going to probably want to do is most of the time um, research graphs do not, or research uh, manuscripts and papers and um, do not have these um, sort of these grid lines behind the data. So we can click that, like I just did, shows that I, uh, these circles here show that I have it clicked, and then hit delete. So that deleted the the vertical ones, we can also do the same thing on the horizontal ones. Let's see if it'll, there we go. Um, so make sure that you have these little circles on the lines, or otherwise you have something else highlighted, and then hit delete. All right, so um, a little bit better already. Another thing that we need to do though is uh, typically you're not going to see color in graphs that uh, that are produced for research uh, publications because it costs more money to print those and most people aren't going to to uh, print your your papers that you publish in a using a color printer they're going to use whatever um, printer is easily available to them at work which is usually just going to have black ink in it so let's get rid of the color turn it to black um, just so it prints better and so it doesn't cost any additional money to submit it. So if you, let me back out for a second, if you click the graph it brings up these chart uh, tools and then if you click on the data, so click on one of the data points, notice that they're all highlighted now. Let's see if we can do a right click and then format data series. And so it's going to bring up this little side menu. Click the thing that looks like a, a paint bucket and that's going to allow you to um, change what the individual data part, uh, markers look like. So data points, they call them data markers here. So do the fill and then this will change it so the inside of the data points are also black. All right, so I'll click off now so you can see what I did. So these are now all black. It's gonna be a lot better when it prints and also it matches, again, that, that appearance that we're used to seeing when we see research articles. So we need to do the same thing for all the other elements of this where we need to turn it into a, a nice bold black color. Because for whatever reason, this version of Excel and probably whatever version that you're going to use is going to like this sort of gray, uh, this mild to media, uh, mild to dark gray color um, that I, you don't ever see this in, a, a, again, a publication. Um, I guess it just has a softer look that Excel, uh, that Microsoft likes, but it doesn't work for us. So let's do this one at a time. So I just click the line, the best fit line, and let's change the color of that. Do the same thing, go to the paint bucket, go to this little drop down by, by the, the paint bucket again, and click black. And so then let's go and change um, each of the lines. So the line that uh, the, this y-axis line as well as this x-axis line, let's change those to black. Let's also make them a little thicker. So 
let's see here's the line change that to black and it's at 0.75 I like to change all my lines to about two for two points um, it just makes it have that bolded appearance and so let's do the same thing to x-axis change it to black and increase the point to two okay now let's go and let's change the lettering so that they're bold and they're black so we'll do the numbers first so click the, the axis then the to change any lettering or numbering you're going to want to use this um, upper left menu so we don't even need this this format axis menu here so go to the letter icon go to the drop down and click black so now these are black and we should also make them bold, so click the bold. And now they're bolded. And we'll do that to all the letters and numbers. So make it black, make it bold. And let's also make the the, the word text bigger. I like um, something around like a 14 point font. Um, and then let's do that to the X axis too. So make it black, make it bold, black, and bold and 14 point font there we go so at this point I think this is a reasonable graph um, it might not look exactly like the uh, graphs you see uh, from professional um, high-level uh, graphing programs but it's pretty good and um, most people are gonna look at it and not realize it's in Excel and although that sounds a little pretentious um, in the research world, something that looks like it's from Excel is probably going to um, make you look a little less um, sophisticated and polished. And so if you do this, you can probably fool a lot of people to make it look like it, um, you did some uh, or had some sort of specialized software. Now, the next step to getting a graph from Excel to whatever format you need to submit it somewhere is to export it. Now, this is going to be a little bit of an issue because Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Office, all the, the programs in Microsoft Office, including Excel, including PowerPoint, and including Word, are going to export with a low dot per square inch. Um, so it's not going to look all that good. It's going to be a little bit on the blurry side. I do have a workaround for this. It's a little involved. It requires changing some registry. Um, numbers um, so it does require a little bit of confidence in your um, skills working in the sort of the background of of your Windows operating system um, but I'll give you a link in, in the, the uh, text below to that um, and it's something that's worthwhile if you're going to be doing a lot of this kind of work alright hope that helped thank you